Christmas night when corn ribs are... Of all the film locations you suggested, this next one has to be my favourite. This little corner of southwest Scotland is beautiful, remote and unspoiled. It's the kind of place where there's plenty of time for a chat with the neighbours. A place where the locals are warm and friendly and there's always a welcome for the stranger. That is, until they seduce you, deceive you and burn you alive as a human sacrifice. Oh God! Oh Jesus Christ! It all seems tranquil enough now, but don't let appearances deceive you. Ever since The Wicker Man opened in 1973, this place has become a mecca for hardcore fans of British cult cinema. No mean feat for a film which was first relegated to mere B-movie status, but which has since been acclaimed as the Citizen Kane of British horror. The Wicker Man is the story of a police officer who travels to a remote Scottish island to investigate the disappearance of a young girl. What he finds is a community immersed in a pagan cult. When the producers searched for locations, they settled on Dumfries and Galloway, using a number of mainland villages to create the fictional island of Summer Isle. The Ellen Gowan Hotel in Creetown doubled as the raucous Green Man pub. One man who knows more about the locations than anyone else is Sergeant Howie himself, actor Edward Woodward. This was the centre of the whole plot, really. A lot took place in here, and the whole atmosphere was created, as it were. What is it about the locations of the Wicker Man that is so important to the mood of the film? It looks rural and beautiful and very pretty, yeah. but you move the dark side of life into this area, and as you say, it becomes darker. I mean, suddenly there's all this paganism going on and this perfectly, on the surface, ordinary community. We're going to go from here to Anwar. You haven't been back to Borrowhead, where the, where the Wicker Man itself stood, have you? No, no, I have been near that place now. Come with me now. I will come with you. Wherever you go, Mark, I will follow. <laughs> this old churchyard at Anwar was the setting for one of the pivotal scenes in the film. Oh my gosh. It's just... I want to cry. <laughs> it hasn't changed. At all. Not at all. It had this tremendous sort of uh, feeling then. And it still has it now. Jeepers creepers. On the pagan island of Summer Isle, the old traditions have been cast aside. Sergeant Howie, a devout Christian, is shocked to discover that the local church has been desecrated. Where the heck is the altar? Well, is the altar a prop? Gosh, it may, it may well have been a prop. If it was, it's, it's, he walks through and it should, he it walks should, through, be, it should be there. This is where he is determined from this moment when he finds this place desecrated. He's determined he's going to get to the bottom of this. Yeah. What is obviously anti-Christian. It's like you're on the set of the film. It's like yes, it's absolutely. Built for the film. Absolutely. Shall we wander back yes, to the front, John? I think as Christopher Lee says, it's time to keep your appointment with the wicker man. <laughs> it's a very good impersonation. Thank you very much. That Wicker Man provided one of the most shocking plot twists in British cinema. A policeman investigating a human sacrifice becomes the sacrifice himself. The whole sequence was filmed on a remote stretch of coastline at Burrowhead. That, I would think, would be the right leg. Yes. And I think that would make this the left leg. You're absolutely right. Coming up. That was definitely the way we came. Please don't! No, cry! I was dragged. I was wearing a shift. Yes. White shift. And I had my thermals on underneath it because it was freezing. Well, I couldn't, no. Oh, so I couldn't because my legs were bare. I just had to suspend belief. I, I had to keep saying warm, warm, warm. Yes. Oh, oh. And when I turned the corner down there, oh my God! I could not believe Christ. that I was going to be put into it. Because I thought, how am I going to get to it? That wasn't a stunt. You were actually oh, put no. into the thing. I was carried. Oh, it terrified me. This, this enormous Scots cable tosser to carry me up. No, no! We knew we were doing something quite special. We didn't quite know what, mm. but we knew it was an amazing script. And it was being directed well, and we thought, well, you know, 
we're not bad actors, perhaps we might pull this off. Oh, Christ. Oh, oh Lord. One of the reasons why it was so horrifying, because this good man, for once, the good man, albeit a pain in the armpit, mm -hmm. the good man was killed. Oh God! Oh Jesus Christ! Oh God! I remember it well. <laughs> <laughs>